Well, this will be a first. Uh, doing a little audio commentary. Here we are at the uh, OK Mart. A spot of beer, Taiwan beer. After arriving in Guangdu, near the huge temple. Great thing about you know transforming from being a, a motorcyclist uh, to a bicyclist is that uh, you know with the motor off you're just completely silent and uh, somewhat free from a lot of the traffic laws that cars and motorcycles have to follow. And today was a very quiet Sunday in Guangdu. It had rained heavily in the morning, and I think a lot of people didn't expect the weather to turn out so nice. This is the main temple here, which is an incredible complex up the hill. Off to the left, a little um, tiny little harbor, some fishing boats. And along this stretch here are the, the bike rentals for all the uh, pathways along the river. Today, though, a lot of bikes in the shop. A hot day and a hopping day. An empty shop. <laughs> See the uh, Danche River out there, and along the right here are some stands selling uh, local food products, nuts, and, well, all kinds of stuff actually, hats, and souvenirs, fried fruits, a lot of very, very typical Taiwanese stuff. Uh, over on the left there is a food stand, kind of a mini night market scene. Barbecue things on sticks among the fair. <laughs> and this is the back side of Gandhi Temple. Which is kind of weird because it's built, this back side is just a sheer cliff almost. And kind of encased it in concrete and put a temple, another temple at the bottom. This parking lot would normally be full on a Sunday, but today, empty. The background is Guanyin Shan. So called because it, from certain perspectives, it appears as a profile of the God of Mercy, Guanyin. Also known as Avislokitas Farha. And many others, uh, many other names. Here we are jumping on to the bike path. Um, my bicyclist friends who may not fully appreciate having a motorized bicycle uh, because of the power, uh, I hope can realize that uh, I do use the bike quite a bit just under my power. And as a matter of fact, doing so, I get a bit more of a workout than uh, some of my fellow bicyclists because the bike's much heavier, especially with the motor on it. The bike is very heavy to begin with, uh, being an old mountain bike, but uh, you know, cast iron. But motor, I don't know. I think the motor is about another 20 pounds or something. Uh, you're not going to lift my bike with your pinky, that's for sure. <laughs> Plus, you have the drag of the extra chain, so you're, you know, uh, when you're pedaling. Uh, you've got, you're running the derailleur chain and you're running the chain that runs over the, uh, the drive cam of the motor, which is free spinning with the clutch in. And this is kind of slow going here. This is a little bit of a traffic jam here. We've got somebody in the middle of the road. <laughs> We've got tiny ones up ahead of us. We've got really two tiny ones on a tandem. But soon it'll all open up into this kind of nice uh, area here at the Guandu Wharf, which is really cool actually. There are ferry boats that come here that go out to Danshui and the Fisherman's Wharf up the river. The river empties out into the Taiwan Strait, so the direction we're looking at now, which is basically north, um, is basically looking towards mainland China. Sorry if anybody doesn't like that term. <laughs> I have some friends that don't. And this is about where I 
turn around up here. Well, actually, what I'm going to do is find one of these benches and enjoy my brewski here as the sun goes down. Um, because beyond here is like I would have to continue on the bike for quite a ways. And, and if I want to go all the way to Danshire, I'm going to have to get out on the main highway. Uh, you have to be in a good spirits to do that because it's just heavy traffic and trucks and cars and motorcycles. And, and I, I prefer this mellow, the mellow scene here. So, I've got my spot. Uh, there's a fellow with his horse over there, which uh, he's out here almost every weekend. There's nearby stables. And this guy's pretty cool. He lets people pose sitting on his horse, and he lets that horse uh, you know, just kind of hang out here, enjoy all that nice grass. Yeah, so that's it. A little wrap.